So, the left hook. Traditionally speaking, I'm gonna teach you guys a few different ways you can learn this, all right? But if you just do a left hook from a regular stance, regular position, bang, all right? I throw a quick, quick, bang, quick, bang, all right? Nice, quick, sharp left hook. And let me tell you, if that thing lands, it's gonna hurt. been asking me for this uh, and I'm surprised I haven't put it out I kind of put it out in different in different ways but we're gonna focus on it today and that's how to generate more power on your left hook now you know if you want to develop that left hook that knocks people out kind of like a left hook Jeff Lacey back in the day or uh, even on uh, David Tuba smoking Joe uh, guys who you know Mike Tyson guys who had big power on the left hook now, can you teach somebody to knock somebody out? Not, you can teach somebody to maximize the power that they can generate and the knockout can come, you know what I mean? Uh, typically, we tell guys, don't look for the knockout, look to land the shots and let the knockout come. Sometimes when you try to force the knockout, sometimes that's when the knockout never comes. So you have to kind of just do things and hope that, you don't even have to hope, it just naturally happens. I mean. You know, you can never guarantee that you're going to knock somebody out, even if you did everything properly. But you can always maximize what you can get out of a punch. Yeah. So, the left hook. Traditionally speaking, I'm going to teach you guys a few different ways you can learn this, all right? But if you just do a left hook from a regular stance, regular position, bang, all right? I throw a quick, quick, bang, quick, bang, all right? Nice, quick, sharp left hook. And let me tell you, if that thing lands, it's gonna hurt. You ain't gonna tell the difference whether if he put power on or not. There's enough power on that hook to knock you out, 100%. But if he's really looking to put a little bit more power, what he's going to do, he's going to drop that rear shoulder over his lead leg and he's gonna rip it. It's almost gonna be like if he slipped the right hand. Bang. It's gonna be very similar. A lot of the times I'll drill people with the mitt and teach them to slip over their lead leg before the hook. Not necessarily to slip the right hand and come back with a hook, even though that is a counter, but more so to teach them the body mechanics and positioning. Come over here real quick. We're gonna go slow on this, Eddie, okay. before you demonstrate. Face the camera, drop your hands, okay? And all I want you to do is bring that shoulder to that side of your body. You see what he's doing? Do it again. Doing, do it again. Doing. Now, another way that I like to teach this is off of a right hand. So, for instance, before I make him do the slip, throw the right hand nice and slow. All right, now face the camera. Throw the right hand slow. Now, stay in that position, but bring his hand back to your chin. You see where he's positioned? Now, bring that left hand up. He's in that position, right? Now, do that same motion without throwing the punch. All right? Now, throw the punch. Bring your hand back, but stay there. Stay. Same spot. He's in the same exact spot. So basically all he's doing is transferring the weight from the rear side of his body to the lead side of his body. So now once he understands that, all he's going to do is do the move, man. Woo. That's, woo. that's the punch that's going to hurt you. I do it again. Punch it all the way through. All, this is when you want power. I typically tell a guy, stop your hook if you're putting a combination together. Boom, boom. Boom, but this one, we've decided that we're going all the way through, all right? So do it again, 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 again. Gee, I so many of those I wanna feel, you know what I mean? But, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of power there. Now, if you're having a problem learning that transferring of the weight, then throw a right hand slow. And I'm also gonna give you an additional heavy bag drill that you can do. Free heavy bag? <laughs> Yo, free, away, free, lot, free, free, free so heavy good. bag and mid work drills. You must really love them. I do love them. <laughs> I do love you guys. I appreciate you guys' support like you would never understand. So that's why we do this, all right? So, one more time, throw the right hand nice and slow. Whoop, and bang, all right? So do it, and bang, again, bang, again, bang, again, bang. Okay, so all he's doing is teaching himself to 
turn the body before he shoots the shot. Just like if he slipped in and threw the shot, you know what I mean? That's what he's doing. So let's go to the heavy bag. This is a drill that I made up because I didn't make it up. But I use these heavy bags now because I was in the gym one time in the Bronx in New York City and they actually had the wall bag. Remember those old school wall bags back yes. when we was boxing? Yeah. All right? And they would literally be on the wall. Almost like a book bag, but they're like, like, a, like one of those carry bags. Yes. And they put them on the wall. But you know, now we're in modern times, those kind of bags aren't as common. But you don't need the wall bag in order to do that. You can do it with a heavy bag. So what I'm gonna have Eddie do to transfer his weight, he is gonna stand right here. This is where I want your hook to land, Eddie. Yep. But what you're going to do is throw the straight right hand, bring the hook back into position. Wop! All right, wop! All right, wop! And then you'll just bring it to doing that. All right, so demonstrate that real quick. Nice, slow, straight, and good. I just hit myself. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. And if you have a partner, they can hold it just to make it easier for the drill. Good. Do it again. All he's doing with that right hand is teaching himself the position. And the reason why we do it like this is just so he can get that hook to go all the way through. So that's why I got him positioned here so he can learn to follow through. Do it again. Good. Do it again. Good, now don't punch, just do the upper body and then and rip the second. Good, again. Good, again. Again, and bang. So, you can actually work that on your own. You can do that for a whole round. Just do it for a whole round. You know, the sound is going to work on developing my hook, developing my power. Now, do you always want to load up like that before you throw it back? No. Um, this is just an option. Sometimes you don't want to do that. Because when you put that weight on your upper body, there's pros to it. Like some of the pros is you get more power. Another pro is you have options. Okay, we're gonna talk about the options in a different video. All right, I already gave you guys a free heavy bag drill. <laughs> now you want options? I mean, you'll get the options. But we're gonna give you those options. But you have options, you have power, right? Those are the main things. Sometimes when you load up like that, you get a guy to freeze. And when they freeze, they're intimidated. You kind of have that Mike Tyson scary effect, right? It works on some guys. It doesn't work on others. But other times, you just want to let the hook go. Because if you do that, you know, sometimes you give it away. Sometimes you don't want to give it away. So it's all about situations. What's in front of you? What are you trying to accomplish? But if you want to learn how to generate more power, that is no doubt the best way to do it. If you go down to the website, CoachAnthonyBoxing.com, i got a bunch of stuff on there. There's no doubt about it that you will become a better boxer just by visually learning this stuff. Uh, we're talking about years and years of experience between me and Eddie. Eddie's been a professional boxer for 20 years, and I've been involved in the sport of boxing for 20 years. And I've been coaching for now 10, working with multiple world champions and stuff like that. So you're getting real stuff. And um, that's basically what it is, man. So I appreciate the love and support. Leave a comment below. Boxing night. Hello guys, it's your boy Coach Anthony. You guys made a wise decision. Defense is one of the first things that you should learn in boxing. Uh, anybody can throw a punch, but not everybody knows how to defend one. Not everybody knows how to evade one. Not everybody knows how to block one. A lot of the old timers would say that defense is the first thing you should learn when you go into a boxing gym, as opposed to learning how to throw punches. I agree because, you know, without defense, how are you gonna protect yourself? We all know that defense is 50% of boxing, and people only train it 25% of the time and wonder why they get hit twice as much, right? It's just simple math. We're gonna cover everything from the very beginning, and then we're gonna go ahead and build that up. Whether you have a lot of experience, and you just wanna go over the fundamentals, or whether you're just starting out and you're trying to learn all this stuff, you made a very wise decision. This is the video for you, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started.